out of that video that we fought for years to show you what really went down in May of 2016 inside the Buffalo City lockup. A brutal assault shielded from the public eye until now. Now this is not something that we want to show you. It is something we feel you need to know about. These people are paid with taxpayer dollars. We need to give you a warning though before we actually show you the rest of the video. What you'll see here is graphic. What's said in this initial meeting between Sean Porter and Matthew Jaskula moments before this violent takedown inside the city lockup in downtown Buffalo is unclear. Jaskula lunges at Porter, who is handcuffed, slamming him into a nearby door while the two other Buffalo police officers and another cell block attendant follow them into another room. Porter is slammed to the floor and dragged along the tile. Another shot, another angle. Jaskula drags Porter like a child dragging a rag doll across the floor while Porter is in the fetal position. You can actually see other inmates perk up watching Jaskula drag Porter to his cell. Two men grab medical gloves. Both police officers stand there, one with enough time to spit into a water bottle, watching the jailers rip Porter's clothes off while Porter stands in a puddle of his own blood. He's then put in restraints with some sort of a mask on his face, wheeled into another cell where he sits and sits and waits for someone to come and help him. He was removed from the restraint chair and walked out of his cell, and by the city's own clock, that was more than 90 minutes later. In his boxers, he's walked through the lockup as a new inmate and two other attendants watch. You can see this one guard's face drop from a smile to a look of disbelief. This whole thing started at 10 o'clock at night on May 19th, 2016. And just before midnight, Porter is walked out of city lockup bloodied, no shoes, no pants, and put in the back of the police car. Not an ambulance in sight. For his use of excessive force, depriving Porter of his civil rights, Jaskula was sentenced to 18 months in federal prison. He was released at the end of last year. Just days ago, the city paid Porter $300,000 as a settlement for what he endured. Again, the city has had this video for nearly three years, but refused to release it until now, which is exactly why we had to sue the city for them to release it. And again, we are the only TV station with this video because of that lawsuit, and we'll post it for you on WKBW.com. It's I'm, really graphic and unsettling, to say the least. It's just so hard to watch.